We'll be installing Pi-hole today on our Docker container. Pi-hole has ability to block the traditional website advertisements as well as the advertisement in the unconventional places such as smart TV, mobile operating systems and so on. And it is an open source alternative to ad trap and so on. It is in fact the network wide ad blocking. You can install it on any supporting operating system or you can also install it on Docker. You can click here on GitHub and Docker. So here the Docker details are available here. So I'll be mainly using Docker Compose. I'll be opening my Proxmox server here and I'll be opening my Docker container here for which I have already explained you that how I'll be using. So this is my Docker container. Inside Docker, I'll be creating a new container. Here if you see Docker PS, so I have these containers which are running right now. And I created one folder here, which is Amjad. And inside this, I had two stacks available. So I'll be creating a new stack. I'll be creating the directory here, mkdir, and the name will be pyhole. I'll go inside pyhole, and here I'll be creating docker compose file, nano docker-compose.yum. Here I'll be pasting the compose file script here. I'll just copy this and paste it. And in case you want to make any changes, you can do that. So for example, it is running on port 53. So UDP port is also 53. Then is 67 port if you are using as a DHCP server. So I'll not be using it as a DHCP server. And here you can see this is port 80. Port 80 is already being used by one of the containers here. So I'll be changing this port to 82 time zone. So I can change the time zone here. It will be Asia must restart unless stop. So these are all the details here. I'll do docker compose space up dash t. So it will get the image and it will start the container. And that's it. Now you can see here that docker space ps pi only is running port 82 which is bound to port 80. So I'll be accessing this via port 82. IP address is 192.168.240.6. So I'll be accessing it 192.168 dot 240 dot 6 port is 82 and slash i'll be typing admin and one thing that we did not do is that we did not set up the password so i'll be going back here to docker compose again here and i'll be typing sudo nano docker dash compose dot yaml and here if you see web password i'll just remove this and web password will be syncpix and here container is stopping container has been removed so docker compose up dash d now our password is of course syncpix so i'll be able to access this so i'll be just going here my password syncpix i am able to access this and what i'll be doing here i'll be using my upstream dns cloudflare in settings i'll be clicking here dns and right now it shows me that it is using google dns of course you can use google dns or your own custom dns so i'll be using cloudflare dns here so my cloudflare i won't be using here google i'll be using cloudflare dns as my upstream dns after choosing the cloudflare i'll be just clicking on save pyhole is being used as dns which is 192.168.240.6 i need to make sure that when my pfsense gives the ip addresses it also uses the pyhole as dns if i go back to my pfsense here my user id password uh, services and dhcp server dns instead of 240.1 it will be using 240.6 which is my pyhole dns server so every time my users will be getting the ip address from the dhcp server which is from pfsense the dns server will be used as 240.6 pyhole and if i see my dashboard here you can see right now there are no queries let me now get the new ip address here ip config release and then ip config slash renew so my dns is updated now now i'll try to access any site which has ads for example syncpix.com and open any of the blog here and it definitely has the ads here now the ads will be blocked i'll just refresh this you can see here that 213 queries were there 12 queries are blocked and total percentage blocked is this. So this way you can of course now start blocking the ads. Whoever was trying to access from localhost also and from here also. So all the ads are blocked. This is the best way to block the ads on your network. Of course it has variety of features. I have explained you in the pyhole video. Local DNS, DNS record. So I can create the DNS record here also. For example, I'll be creating the local DNS record which will be pyhole dot syncbricks.com 
and the IP address will be 192.168.240.6. So this way I can start creating the local DNS records here. So it will create all the DNS records for my local IPs. For example, proxmox.syncbricks.com and here I can provide the local DNS 192.168.240.2. So if I add this here, now if I try to access proxmox.syncbricks.com colon 8006 you can see here that i am now able to access proxmox using the local dns so this is how you can create the dns record so it will immediately be available dns is one aspect but all the ads on your network will be blocked whether it is on your tv whether it is on your smartphone or whether it is on your web browsers you will be now running all the websites without any ad it also has many ads but right now there is no pop-up no ad you can have a secure browsing now without any issues let's move to another video and see what else we can do with pihole